Hey, I'm going to be doing a detailed reading for the sign of Taurus. So let's get started with your reading today. And you know what? Give us that Taurus long stroke. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I always welcome you. Thank you so much. All right. Love sign reading for the sign of Taurus. Love sign reading for the sign of Taurus. So, similar to me, you want to work on something or you're definitely in contemplation about something in the past is what I'm getting from that card there. I feel like it's something that um, you've been, you know, kind of waiting on, you know. And the thing is about this situation is, as you're reflecting on it, I think that you're going to end up getting some kind of message from somebody in the past. Something you, um, when you least expect it, okay? All right. Get your person's energy and then go into the past, the present and the future. person could be holding back um, from you for now. They could be focusing on their money, on their capital, um, with the four of pentacles right here. Um, getting that they could be focusing on their capital. Um, they also, right now, have turned their back to you. Um, you could be dealing with the fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Let's clarify with these cards here. Clarify the four of pentacles for me, please. The four. So this person doesn't want to move on from you. I just think right now they're just holding back from you. But I think they're going to be contacting you. Um, definitely. I have two cards that say they're going to contact you. But the thing about this person is, is that they're very, 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 very um, stubborn and all about themselves. Pretty much, you could be dealing with the Aries. Um, this person could be very rude, very brash, how to say things, very direct kind of person right here. Okay. All right. Let's clarify the two of wands here. Clarify the two of wands for me, please. The full reverse. Could be of another Aries here again. Um, the fool in reverse. So basically, this person is not right now making a move, but you know, I feel like they're going to. I feel like they see you as like you know a family situation that they can invest in at least their time in and um, and stuff like that. But why is this person? Um, I'm gonna use this Puerto Rican deck right here. Um, why is this person? Wanting to move forward with you, but they're acting the way that they're acting. So they could be defensive. So they're being defensive or holding back. Again, two of wands. So there's a choice they're gonna have to make. So they're holding back. So that's not answering my question. Why are you holding back? Why won't you just go all in if you wanna be with my Taurus? Six of Swords, Five of Swords, Games. Playing games. This person is playing a game with you. Because they really are interested in you. Okay, let's move on to another deck. 
Why is this person playing games with you in order to try to come back to you? Okay, let's figure this out. This person's a very difficult person, I see. I've got to ask several questions here. They're not, because they're not passionate. Because they don't know how to be passionate without playing those kind of games that they're playing with you, basically. Okay. Let's go into the present. Okay, I feel like you don't want to um, get into any more arguments or whatever with this person. I feel like you um, want, you're, you're like you're being cautious about the, the dishonesty with this person or whatever the hell they're doing that um, they're playing this game with you. So I feel like you're being, it's like you're looking at it and you're like, man, I don't want to get into no conflict anymore around this situation. Because the situation is throwing you out of balance. Um, but I do see that um, you do miss this person though um, with these two cards here. person likes to cause the drama for you, don't they? All right, let's go ahead and find out here. It's the tower. Two of cups. Nine of cups in reverse. Hmm. This person comes off like a player. Um, Definitely coming off of like a player. But are they? Let's see. Let come out. Three of Wands. King of Wands. Hmm. Definitely some um, playeristic fire energy right here. Um, with this person here. Let's see here, yeah. All right, what's your advice when it comes to this person here? What's your advice? Taurus, what's your advice? They're saying for you not to work on it. Say not to work on it and don't put all your don't put all your energy into it right now. It's saying for you to hold back from it right now and don't put your energy into it right now. What's the future actions that's gonna go on here? Aries again. You got a lot of Aries in here. I swear if y'all not dealing with Aries, I got Virgo here. I feel like you're gonna feel like you invested a lot of your time in a situation and um, you're gonna have to make a head over heart decision to make a move elsewhere, but you're still gonna be looking back at the past. I feel like this person is interested in you, but they have a lot of um, immature qualities about them. And, you know, why they gotta play the game with you, right? I feel like you end up holding back from this person, but you do, you're gonna end up missing this person. I don't know what this is here. I think, I think you're gonna end up getting over this heart. You're gonna end up walking away from this heartbreak not being so attached to it anymore. What else can you tell me? Clean the ones in reverse. Two of Pentacles. You're gonna have to stop giving this person attention and you're gonna have to make a choice, all right? Let's get some advice from the Oracle deck. For Taurus.
it's saying to look at it straightforward. Don't try to, you know, you know, look at this person through um, rose-colored glasses. You need to see this for what it really is. You need to take some time to sleep and heal. You know what I'm saying? So you can come up with new ideas. You need to learn how to defend yourself against someone like this because this person, I don't, I don't necessarily get like too much of their, like they're cheating, but they do have some tendencies that are very, very childish. And they do want to be with you, but at the same time, they do cause a lot of the drama and the breakups and all the stuff that they do to cause a ruckus between this relationship. So what I would say is to call upon the tarot gods and do this motherfucker right now. Or do what you want to do. If you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you, Taurus. Bye.